Se eu não amor, ele é um pulê, ele é um pulê, ele é um Good morning, my family. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wanted to just uh, do something out of the ordinary. Uh, hopefully by now you guys have gotten a chance to see a couple of our videos and and uh, see how, you know, we are, uh, at least somewhat. Um, because fully, unless you're with us, then you really don't get a chance to know us. But um, wanted to, you know, basically so far share with you guys our interaction, our family, how we interact with each other, you know, how me and my, my wife interact with each other, um, and, and you know, how I interact with my children and stuff like that. Um, but more than anything, if you didn't get a chance to see anything else, you see how country we are. Very country, very country, we're very country. Um, some people say that's a bad thing, you know, I say it's a good thing doesn't bother me you know when we need to be articulate we're articulate you know we speak and use certain words and we can use certain words um, and when we need to be around our people and, and speak slang we know how to do that as well uh, but for the most part you know what you see is you know pretty much what you get for us and uh, straightforwardness and laughter and jokes and most of our lives um, especially me and my wife we try to find humor in life um, because things are so serious these days things aren't like they were 30 40 years ago you know growing up as children things have changed um, but for the most part you know I got a request to um, well several requests I'm not gonna say a request I, I I've had several questions posed to us and um, questions based uh, questions requiring uh, my opinion or my views um, and they range from all type of things because um, we haven't had we haven't had a chance since the very first video I did which is the introduction video to why we're doing this really to sit down and talk and 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 get past um, the obvious things firstly um, because I haven't had time to talk nor vent about certain things um, but when you know questions are asked I, I I have opened our lives up so this is the time um, to ask them now you know what I mean I won't be doing Q&A all the time but for the you know but when you have legitimate questions or things that people want to know about you um, or just want to know your views on I think it's my responsibility to do the best that I can to answer them so you know this video will be one uh, based on questions posed to me and my views on them and so I'll just do the best that I can to answer them because that's all that I can do is the best that I can um, but hopefully so far you have been uh, at least uh, entertained slightly we don't have the most exciting lives unless we're being uh, <laughs> how can I say this politically correct unless we have been or unless we've been attacked or accused of doing something or anything of that nature um, we really don't have exciting lives because our lives really consist of farming which I can turn the camera around right now you can see the elder um, out here tilling the ground uh, getting ready for crops or I can show you you know another elder over here you know cleaning up his yard and washing the cars you know I can show you another elder just coming at the house so I really you know we, we don't uh, have a lot that we do outside of you know me personally uh, having meetings with uh, county or town officials for the betterment of our, our home you know this is our home and um, all tribes responsibility should be to reach out locally to your um, constituents when I say constituents um, those, in my terminology, how I'm utilizing it, um, those who may not be of a political body of your tribe, but have political influence in the area that your tribe resides. It is our duty to um, work together and, and, and mesh to create solutions to problems that we see in the communities or the county or the town or state that we live in. And we do that. We play uh, our role as much as needed by our local governments um, so that we can be a solution 
um, not a problem. However, I digress and um, we'll get into um, things asked of me if I can remember all of them. Um, first, first topic was elders. Um, um, how do I feel about our elders today? And I'll just generalize it like that um, because I don't want to make this a, uh, a ethnic rant or about color. But how do I feel about our elders today? Uh, and what do I think that is going on with our elders? So first thing I want to say is that uh, my views on our elders today uh, varies because I don't want to uh, subject all elders to this particular answer. So, you know, this will apply to some, uh, this will apply to a lot or majority and it won't apply to any at all. But I think that our elders are losing themselves. I think they've lost themselves. And I'll, I'll give you an example to what I mean by lost themselves. Um, I hear many elders talk about the children of today and how our children have lost respect for them. They're not respectful anymore. Um, how it used to be. Our elders, when I was growing up, were different folks. The elders that we have today uh, aren't the same people I remember growing up. I remember my elders leading by example, you know? I remember my elders being less, less judgmental than they are today. I remember my elders being I remember our elders, why am I saying mine? I remember our elders being uh, more for creating a solution than for creating a problem. I'm, I'm watching our elders today and, and it becomes so disappointing to me because our elders are trying to be our friends instead of our parents. And what I mean by that is not that you can raise us, you know what I mean, or raise children that's either yours or not yours, but tribally, all of us are, every, you know, all our elders' children, you know. Um, thank you. So we, we call this signs that wind just picked up. Um, so I'll make sure that I'm very careful of my words that I use. Um, they will give us sound advice, knowing and, and knowing and knowing that if whatever advice they gave us, we may or may not listen. But what our elders did was they became the best examples for us. We don't have that these days. I'm witnessing our, our elder men trying to be our age or my age and younger. I'm watching the men dating my daughters, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying this didn't happen in the day, you know, my, my grandmother, my great grandmother was married at the age of 13, but that was then, that was back then, that was, you know, acceptable then. Um, that was when the creator said that when, you know, our views as a tribe, it was when uh, a, a, a young lady had her, you know, her cycle, it was her time, she was considered a woman, and you know, I get that. But we live in a day and age these days and times where you should know that way no more. You can't be trying to date your granddaughters. But I think that is 80% of the problem, that we've forgotten how to be parents. And our elders had those men in their lives. They had those strong men, men that worked, you know what I mean, until they were 60, 70, 80 years old, man, you know what I mean? I, I remember, man, you know, me and my, my great uncles and my uncles, they worked until they died. You know, there was no excuse for them. You know, now I have to hear uh, elders and people who are just old, I'm not going to call them elders, people that who are older than ourselves now use excuses. Well, I've, I've, I've paid, paved my way. I've done all of this before. For them, that's reason not to do anything else from this point. And I think that's unfair. Um, I think it's unfair because life gives us tasks every day. Life is a task. You know, I'm witnessing elders who, who don't even speak anymore as friends. I'm witnessing people who, 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 who used to be brothers and, and now 
treat each other like, you know, they never knew each other. So yes, I can say our, our elders have lost themselves. And I grew up around elders who was, was, you know, like, damn talk, let's work, let's do it. So, you know, I, I do think that we are losing our elders. And I think that our elders are losing our ears. I think they're losing, you know, we no longer can hear them because we all grew up as adults knowing what elders did, what they were like. And I think those elders at the time who were probably around my age now, who grew up, you know, lost their way at some point in time to where now they are the ages of our great uncles and, and, and their uncles. Um, I think they've lost their way. And not all of you all, not all of you have lost your way. I'm just saying that a lot of our elders have. Our mothers stop wanting to be mothers. The women no longer want to be mothers. Everybody want to be independent. You know what I mean? Uh, this is, this is not the time for us to now be selfish people. This is not the time for our elders to decide they need to live their lives. You've been living your lives the whole time. Most of you grew up in the 40s and 50s and 60s. You know what I'm saying? You were, you know, the, the, the movement, you know what I mean? You guys introduced to, you were living your lives and you came from a time to where your, your predecessors uh, couldn't do that. I, I really feel like we as a people have forgotten that only 50 years ago, people of color were being hung. Native Americans were still being hung. Native Americans were still being, you know, uh, ostracized. We have gotten so comfortable in today's society that we forget it, it was only within the last 50, 60 years that these things happened. So, uh, we forget so quickly has been, we've forgotten so quickly, I think it has hurt our people as a whole, especially our elders. And we need you. I need you. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 a person who prides himself on being able to talk to my elders, you know, and, and and being able to go to them for advice without it being ulterior motive, without it being something that is devised to systematically um, sway me to one side or another side, you know. We need you. So, you know, my, my answer to your question is, you know, um, I think we, we are losing our elders, but I also think that by looking at our situations with our elders, that this gives us opportunity to make corrections to ourselves. You know, uh, well, I'm a decade, decade or two away from being what is considered an elder. I want to be the right elder. If, if I haven't been able to be the right father to any of my children, I want to at least be the right elder to someone else's children or my grandchildren. I want to be the elder or grandfather or father that I remember my elders being to me growing up. You know, the, the ones who've already made their transitions. Um, I think we owe it to ourselves that as, I think we owe it to ourselves to realize that our elders mentally are still the same people they were when they was 20, 30, 40 years old. And that I think their reality uh, is that they can't believe how fast time has went by. So mentally, it's still probably a, a shock. <laughs> it's a shock. It's a shock for me to have gray hairs, you know what I mean? A head full of gray hairs and stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, five years ago, I didn't have all these gray hairs. So I think that our elders are still in shock. Uh, there are some elders that do more gossiping in, in, amongst tribes than I've seen ever. I've never... I've. You would have never told me in a thousand years that this is what it would be like. You know, um, I've went to many different tribes and I've seen elders, you know what I mean? I've been to our, our, our um, family in, in uh, Miami, you know, and sat down and talked with an elder, you know, and, and how he tell me what's going on on the Seminole Reservation and, and you know, things that they're, they're, they're plagued with and what they're dealing with right now. Um, well, thank you. I would, I would never have believed that, that those things were going on. And maybe it's because as a child, we weren't given that circle to be in. We weren't allowed to be in that circle to know. It wasn't our place to know. So, um, you know, I, I think that our elders are missing. I think, I think, I think as um, a family unit, 
we as the children of our elders and uncles and grandfathers, our responsibility is to make them feel needed uh, and just request that we don't need all the rest of the stuff that's coming with what you all are doing, you know, we don't need the rest of it. But I also think that our elders need to accept their ages. I think they need to accept who they are, man and woman, um, that you've gotten older and that wisdom, and that experience that you've had in life um, is now what we need. You know what I mean? When, when, whenever there's a time, you know, I, I hear people say that if they had to, if they had a chance to turn back time, what they would do different. Well, we are that opportunity where time has turned back. We are what you what you asked for. We are a product of time turning back and you now having a chance to do things the right way. Give us that. Give us that. Give us give us what you would have done the right way. Give us that advice you would have gave yourself. We are now you. Give us the advice that you would have said to yourself and that mistake that you made and, and how it plagued you, you know. Um, yeah. We need we need those elders. That's the elders we need. We need the elders.